well, Tuesday, he talked about his career and also the pranks that Brett Favre used to play on him. This weekend, motorcycle racers from around the world will be flying around the circuit at Road America. Ever wonder what it's like to cruise on that beautiful course on two wheels, the dips, the turns? Sorry, getting a little carried away. Jen Latta did, and tonight she takes you along for a wild ride. It's new at 9. Chris Ulrich has been riding motorcycles since he was 16. It's kind of the family business. I grew up with the, with the hanging out with the greatest, fastest racers to come through the United States. And now at 32, he not only races for Geico Suzuki, he's also the official driver for the team's two-seat superbike ride-along program. I've given well over 500 rides, and each one's come back unscathed, safe and sound. Uh, and, you know, we really pride ourselves on that. To help keep that record intact, passengers are given professional-grade safety gear, including a leather suit with plastic armor, a back pad to protect the spine, boots, gloves, and of course, a helmet. Have them go out there and experience what we experience every lap and feel the adrenaline rush and see how much fun it is. The Suzuki GSX R1000 is the same bike Chris used during the 2011 AMA Pro season with slight modifications to accommodate a passenger. Now, this ride has been compared to a roller coaster, but that's not entirely accurate. On a roller coaster, riders are secured to seats with harnesses and bars. So when things get frightening, they can mentally check out and trust that the safety mechanisms will do their job. But that's not the case on the back of a bike. For one, you were not strapped in. There's no safety belt. You have a grab rail, you have a passenger seat, you have foot pegs, and then you have me. Passengers are not manning the gears, but they must stay alert. On a motorcycle, weight distribution is huge, so it's important that the rider works with the driver. Just try not to interfere with what I'm doing on the front. So you, you don't you know, you stay on your seat. You, you remain engaged in that kind of that, that ready position. It is physically and mentally demanding, but incredibly thrilling. This particular bike has been clocked at nearly 200 miles an hour. On this day, with me on the back, Chris got it up over 160 on the straightaways. It's just an intense experience. You have two, two straightaways where you're going 160 plus on a two-seat bike, so that means on our own Superbike Solo, we're going to be going 180 miles per hour. It took about five minutes to complete two laps. Five minutes of gripping, squeezing, and deep breathing. Imagine doing that 13 laps in a row. It's about 35 to 40 minutes, and by the time you get off, you know, you're quite tired. The sport is huge overseas and growing in the U.S. The goal of the two seat superbike ride along program is to spread the word and help fans appreciate what these athletes do. For me to have the honor to go out there and get people excited about motorcycles. How, How was it? It was scary. <laughs> But it was fun. In Elkhart Lake, Jen Latta, Fox 6 Sports. What a trooper. You should have seen us <laughs> in here. We're like, we're back and forth on the curves. <laughs> Maybe you were. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wish I could. No way I'd do that.